What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles that I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Willard Faction Custom. So this car came out with the original Lowriders update in October of 2015. However, the faction name was first introduced in GTA 4 and is pretty much identical to the one they put in GTA 5. Now the regular faction can be found on the Benny's website and only costs $36,000, which honestly is unheard of for a DLC car. I mean, that's literally the price for a set of custom wheels in game and you get an entire car. I think that's pretty cool. Now, to get the Benny's custom conversion of this car, you have to take it to either Benny's or another custom shop that allows you to install Benny's upgrades, and there you can upgrade it to either the custom version for $335,000 or the custom donk version for $695,000. Now, personally, I don't like the donk version <laughs> at all, so in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the faction custom because the regular faction doesn't really have any visual upgrades except for the roof option. Now in terms of performance, this car is pretty slow, it's around the pace of the Ellie, and in terms of top speed, the regular $30,000 one and the $300,000 custom one actually have the same top speed, which honestly is really unfortunate. Now the custom version does handle a lot better but the straight line speed being the same for both is a bit annoying, especially when we compare it to the Sabre Turbo Custom, which turns the regular Sabre Turbo with average performance into a top five muscle car, which is pretty insane. And it's a real shame that the Faction Custom didn't get the same performance treatment upgrade with the Custom version, especially when we talk about what this car is based on. And speaking of what it's based on, the Willard Faction is primarily based on the 1984 Buick Grand National. And for those of you who don't know what this car is, even though I'm sure most of you do, when this car released, it shook the automotive world. It was the ultimate sleeper car with incredible performance, beating out almost any performance car back then in a straight line, including Lamborghinis and Ferraris at the time. I mean, it was just an incredible performance car. Um, obviously, it was a muscle car at the time. It wasn't really good for cornering, but in straight lines, it was an absolute monster. And it did this with a turbo V6, and the exterior of it looked pretty normal. I mean, it looked like a normal Buick for the most part. It was very underwhelming, and most people got beat by this car and at street lights and stuff like that. It was just the ultimate sleeper car in the 80s for people who didn't really know what it was. And I think it would have been nice if Rockstar would have reflected that performance legacy in GTA Online using a more expensive custom version. But at the end of the day, at least we still have the car in the game, and it's something nice to customize and have in your garage as well. Not really great for racing, unfortunately, but it's still a cool car. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Faction Custom. What are we doing today? All right, faction custom. What do you want we got armor, we got brakes, we got engine block. So unfortunately, this car does have a V8 in comparison to its real life counterpart with the famous turbocharged V6. Uh, but I guess, you know, Rockstar is what it is. We can make the best of it. I think the chrome rib covers looks good. Um, or we can do the painted, which we're gonna paint this car black. You know, I think it will look pretty cool with the black valve covers. So let's go ahead and do the painted ones. Air filters. So you have chrome air filter, twin air filter. There we go. I think, and then the big turbo kit, probably the coolest looking one. Uh, and probably the closest you can get to the real life car, even though here you see twin turbos. The real car obviously had a single turbo, but I think this is pretty cool and a nice reference to the Grand National. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, engine tunes maxed out exhaust so you have chrome tip okay it's kind of like what is just a bigger version of a stock i guess and it sticks out a little further then you have big bore which i guess retains that bigger size yeah it has like a nice cut to it but it's a little more hidden which i actually like 
Um, so I guess we'll do that. The uh, hood, you only have one option, which is the Power Bolt Hood, and this option is not available on a regular faction. It is only available um, with the faction custom. So we'll do that. Hydraulics. So of course, this being the custom version, it's forced with <laughs> hydraulics. Um, so, you know, there's really no way to make this look clean back here, so you might as well just put whatever you want back here. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna do the, uh, the quad pumps, I guess, why not? Um, interior, you have interior trim, interior design, um, so you have, uh, beaded seat covers, as you can see there. Uh, oh my god, $38,000 for that, that's pretty nuts. Um, then you got luxury velour, which puts this dash in a really weird texture I don't really like that too much and then um, it changes the seats which look pretty cool but in the back seats as well a little better quality but that dash with that texture I mean you couldn't even see it from outside that just looks awful <laughs> at least in my opinion um, so I guess we're gonna leave it with the regular interior a trim color um, obviously you can change the interior color here now the Grand National um, was uh, forced and like, well, it only came in like this weird gray interior and they only came black for the exterior, so fun little fact there. Um, so I think we're going to do the gray, might as well. So let's go ahead and do, I think the closest we can get is probably the rolled steel. And we're going to do dark tints anyways, so it will look pretty cool, it's like all black from the outside and then on the inside you have that kind of reference to the gray. Um, ornaments, so for those of you who like that, you know, all of Benny's ornaments there. Um, then we have the dials. So you got Plain Jane, which changes the font a little bit. Gives you like a white face background, which I kind of like. A little different. And you got all the different variations here. Flames and all that stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do the white face. Something a little different. Why not? Let's do that. Steering wheels. So you got the stock steering wheel here. Um, and then you got all the different uh, color variations of that and you know all of these have the the uh, wheel itself um, primary color matched uh, our, of course our primary color is silver right now uh, except for the wooden one obviously but um, all of these have a primary colored match and well except for the chrome one as well but most of them and it just looks a little weird to me um, I kind of prefer the kind of like regular uh, look you know with the matching interior color um, so I think I'm gonna skip out on one of these, unfortunately. Next up you have the column shift levers, which I'm not sure why you'd put this, because you already have a shifter down there in the center console area, so I'm not sure why you'd want two. Um, so, <laughs> I guess we're gonna skip out on that. Now, a lot of the Benny's cars, they actually remove the, uh, the shifter at the center once you, uh, put it to the custom variant. So I guess this makes a bit more sense, but this one doesn't. So we're not going to put that. Um, and I just noticed our character's knees are inside of the dash in this car. So that's that's a little weird. <laughs> uh, plaques. Those of you who like the plaques back there. Um, then you got the uh, different uh, speaker shelves. Um, and I think the square ones look a little more, I guess, less custom. Um, less fact, you know, a little more factory looking. I don't know. I think they look a bit better in the oval ones that are stock. So we'll do those. Uh, light color for those of you that want to change that um, I kind of want to keep the white face what background I think it looks pretty cool um, so we're gonna keep that I mean it's like a silver I guess um, and then here you can make it a bit brighter like an ice white and it gets a bit too much I think the silver is perfect um, continuing here we got the headlights we're gonna keep it yellow obviously we're not gonna go <laughs> xenon um, liveries so you got all the different low rider liveries here for those of you that like that I'm not really going for a lowrider build, I'm going more for like a custom Grand National build. Um, so yeah, that's the main thing I'm going for there. Do, 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 license plate, obviously the regular faction would be better for this, but the regular faction doesn't have that hood bulge option like the real car. So again, it's a bit of a, a compromise, you know, have to decide what you want, but yeah. And anyway, we got all different plate holders here from Benny's. Uh, I'm going to keep the stock because it's got a black uh, f uh, plate frame, which I kind of like. So I'm going to keep that. A vanity plate. I think I am going to do the uh, Willard. It's obviously, this is the Willard faction. Might as well keep the, uh, the logo there, which I think is pretty cool. 
a license plate. I do have a plate for this. For those of you who remember the fourth Fast and Furious movie, which was just called Fast and Furious, remember the beginning scene with the Grand National? Um, we're gonna do the family plate. Um, I feel like it's, it's something we just have to do. Put family on any car that Dom drives <laughs> in the movies. All right. Continuing, we got respray. So here we go. Let's get rid of the pearlescent. Do a matte black, um, and then we'll do our crew black, which is a lot darker than the normal black in game, and it just looks completely sinister on this car. Obviously, we're, we're gonna get rid of those ugly wheels in a second, but um, yeah, I think the black looks insane on this car. It looks really good, really deep black. Secondary crew to match. And so you can see the difference here. I'll go to a classic black on the roof. You can see the difference between that and the uh, the crew black. It's a big difference there. Um, trim color, we already did that. We were in the interior category. And then Kriblum goes on the side of the door, for those of you wondering. Uh, roof, so you have, uh, if you want to roof the T-tops, you can do that. And then custom roof 2 would be the glass top. So I guess stock, you have painted T-tops. Uh, then you have no root, no t tops, and then you have the glass t tops. Um, and we're gonna tint it out anyways, but I kind of wonder how it would look with <laughs> the uh, dark tints if it transfers to it. I guess we'll test it out. Transmission, trunk. Oh wow, you can change the the subwoofers back here. Okay. I think. I mean, I think I'm gonna leave it as is, but. I mean, we already have this ridiculously customized back here, so might as well make it crazy. There we go. Turbo tuning, yes, please. All right, next up we got the wheels. So definitely we're gonna get rid of these <laughs> ugly wheels on here that don't really suit this car. I mean, obviously they suit more of like a lowrider build, but that's not really what I'm going for. I'm going for something kind of in between lowrider and the Grand National, kind of like a super custom version, but you can't tell right away. Um, but so, I mean, kind of like a resto mod, sort of. So, um, this car, obviously, um, the stock wheels on the Grand Nationals, there's two different designs. Um, very, very good looking wheels, obviously. But I want to go for something a bit more aggressive, and I think will kind of suit this build. So we're going to go to the street category, we're going to go to the Hot Ring Steelies. And it's still kind of like of that 80s era. And I think it really suits this car very well, especially when we paint them in black. Very, very nice. Absolutely love that. Um, continuing to windows, let's see what happens. Oh, it does tint the T-tops, that's pretty cool. So we'll do a limo, I think that's perfect. All right, there you go, all blacked out. I think it looks very cool, except for the interior color, obviously. Um, and that's all the options there. All right, let's take it for a drive, exit to ground. And I do want to talk about the performance of this car a little bit, even though I did earlier. Uh, but this car, I mean, Let's use the Saber Turbo as the example. Uh, that car, when you upgrade it to the custom version, it makes it like 10 miles an hour faster in top speed when you compare them uh, both fully customized. Um, this one, it has the same top speed, whether it's the regular faction or the custom version you see here. That's a bit annoying. I really wish they would have you know, made it a lot faster so that it would kind of make sense. I mean, this car back then was pretty much the fastest production car at the time I'm um, gonna release you know in terms of like quarter mile times and you know beating Ferraris and everything back then um, but you know Rockstar made it extremely slow in this game for the muscle car class but anyways let's rev it up a bit here gave it like a exhaust note from like the monster truck I think I don't even know a really aggressive V8 exhaust note doesn't really match the car that well of course in the muscle class as you can see there interior Let's nice floor it here. Some wheel spin. You know, it, it moves. It's decently quick, but it's not what you'd expect. Uh, and the custom version, I will say, it does handle better than the um, regular faction. So, you know, that's why you have that kind of $30,000 price tag compared to the three over $300,000 upgrade for the custom variant. Um, you know, other than the customization options you get and stuff like that. There's our brakes here. Yeah, I mean, the brakes are good. Handling's pretty good for a muscle car. It's not bad. I think this thing would have been really good. Maybe a spoiler upgrade. 
um, like a little bit of an added ducktail to the one that's already like built into the body, and then um, better straight line speed. I, I really feel that this thing would have been an awesome addition for the muscle car class up there with the Saber Turbo Custom, which that one is still top five, I believe, um, for lap time around most tracks. So, Let's take a few more corners here. Not bad. Very, very cool car. It's just too slow for what it is. Um, so, I mean, if you want to get one of these, I highly recommend just getting the regular faction. You don't need the custom variant because there's no benefit in speed. I mean, that's... I mean, other than the, custom, the crazy Benny's customization everybody loves, the main reason you go for the custom is because it's faster. Now, this one is faster on a track, but not um, in a straight line in terms of top speed. So, yeah. Alright, but anyways, let's go ahead and open all the doors and stuff here. Oh, and of course, the reason you buy the custom variant is for that awesome uh, engine model upgrade as well. Alright. Vehicle doors. Let's do all. There we go. Look at that. A much nicer engine bay. Looks very, very nice. The turbo's there. Now, now that I'm looking at it, I think the, the non-ribbed valve covers would have looked better. Um... But those look really good still. Got the wheels on there, interior. <laughs> very cool. The black against the gray. I mean, it just it looks very, very cool and similar to the real car. And then we got all the custom stuff back here. And of course, this being a uh, low rider, you of course got all the hydraulics and stuff so you can raise it and you can, you know, mess around with the, the hydraulics and make it jump and all that good stuff. and set it any way you want you know <laughs> it's fun it's they're, the low riders are they're fun vehicles you, if you i think if you hold it it jumps or whatever yeah there you go <laughs> and of course this being a muscle car you can wheelie which i'll show here really quick there you go do a nice wheelie i think you might have to raise it for that i don't know if it will help if you do that actually i've actually never tried that let's see uh, I don't think it wheelies with the hydraulics. Yeah, it doesn't wheelie with the with the hydraulics being messed around. Well, what about like this? Oh, it does do that. Okay, it just doesn't want to do it with the other way. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Overall, you know, you don't really get much of a speed benefit as I talked about earlier, other than the uh, the engine model upgrade. If you really care that much about that. But other than that, for like 30 grand, I definitely recommend the regular faction um, over this one. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.